Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts, good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. This guy can keep a pace inside the octagon that is literally a shocking thing to behold. His opponent is in deep trouble if he comes into this fight out of shape. Intimidating a force as this heavyweight division has ever seen. He is the Cameroonian Frenchman, the Predator, Francis Ngannou. And at any given time, prevailing wisdom is that Ngannou could be one win away from realizing a second UFC championship shot. This guy is a dirty boxing specialist. Look for him to utilize the clinch and then employ dirty boxing technique, devastating uppercuts and elbows from close distance. for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, her team. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. And it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Ruth, the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of. 12 wins, 3 losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Francis, the Predator, and God! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is gonna go down right now. And we are underway. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one.
Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious oh. round one. Been efficient with the strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And wow! Oh! He's oh! bad knees down. Huge kick misses. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. We can see it one more time. Look at this huge straight punch that causes the KO here. Here we see it again. Bang. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator. All right, so congratulations to Francis Ngannou on another massive UFC win tonight. Very much looks the part of a guy who will one day be deemed the baddest man on the planet. Ngannou continues to chew up and spit out all comers as he ascends up this division. What a moment. What a fight. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Nate Diaz. So here's the longtime mixed martial artist, Stockton, California's Nate Diaz, a Gracie Jiu Jitsu fighter, a lot of great submission skills in as well. And of course, no bigger moment in his career than when he submitted Conor McGregor on less than two weeks' notice at UFC 196. Nathan Diaz making the walk once again tonight. Nate Diaz is a crazy jiu-jitsu fighter with an impressive record of submission victories. He's also got a very active and effective boxing style. Look for him to throw a huge number of strikes while this fight is on the feet. Power, power, power. As he makes the walk tonight, no denying what he'll be trying to do to unleash some of the more devastating kicks we have seen in the UFC in years. Just brutally powerful, and oftentimes he'll do major damage just by landing one or two kicks to that lead leg or to the body, thereby changing the complexion of the fight. You talk about guys like Tiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr. Enter this young man. Scary, scary power on his kicking game. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Diaz is three years his senior. The reach is identical. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. 
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California, Nick Diaz! And now we're facing his opponent, fighting out of the ring. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Cameroon, the Nigerian. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Well, going to be back at the crew here in Newark, New Jersey, as we get underway. So here is the inimitable Nate Diaz, more than 10 years on this UFC roster. And here's a guy who intimidates a lot of opponents before they even make the walk tonight. Very difficult guy to deal with and an exceedingly hard guy to put away. Nate Diaz back in another big spot tonight. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Diaz. Check that one. Pretty good knee to the body by Usman. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. That one hurt. Usman gets caught with that punch. Good combination so far from both men. Nice leg kick, very nice. Oh, huge leg kick there. That one wobbled him, Joe. Left hand lands flush over the top. Oh! He's stuck. And now he lands a combination. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Tagged him. Straight right hand, no good. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Usman. He missed with that right hand. Nice jab by Nate. Tags him. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice leg kick. Well, you know these leg kicks, Joe, are a big part of his arsenal, but I'm not sure he's been any better with it than he is here tonight. Visibly now, his opponent is starting to slow down. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Diaz. Oh, he hurt him again. <laughs> 10 seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. Oh, oh what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. Let's see it one more time. Second round here. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Oh! He's hurt. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Man! Wow! Oh, he's hurt! Oh, he hurt him.
combinations here. Looks like oh, it gets tied a little bit. He is clearly in big, big trouble. He's getting tagged. Oh! Oh! Body kick, look at that. Joe, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Great angle here. Boom! And then he's out. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz! So Nate Diaz still getting the job done deep into his second decade as a professional mixed martial arts fighter. A lot of people thought from a matchup standpoint that this one wouldn't go his way here tonight. But Nate Diaz finds a way yet again. And I just think for a lot of lightweights and even welterweights, they just can't deal with the boxing skills, the toughness, the never say die attitude. Nate Diaz getting it done in a big way here tonight. It is a heavyweight collision between the boss, Dana One, and Kimbo Slice. All right, so here he is, the backyard brawler, the internet sensation, Kimbo Slice, finding his way onto this UFC roster. It was a big win over Houston Alexander that set up this showcase spot for Kimbo here tonight. And when Kimbo's fighting, the masses are tuning in. Let's see what Slice can do with this opportunity here tonight. This guy has Ruth advantage. shortage of call-outs as you would expect since UFC President Dana White announced his intentions to compete inside the octagon and when you break down the film on White hard not to like what you see the hands they are heavy you do not want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade with this guy he is an outstanding boxer he can lean on the takedown defense if need be to keep the fight upright Dana White looking to get his hands on the opposition early and often here tonight this guy is an excellent boxer and if the fight takes place standing, he will have a distinct advantage with his striking skill. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action...
action begins. Our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Sold Out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo Slice. And now it comes his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. All right, get into the rules of the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, man. We are underway. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Let's and go. we are underway. Well, everybody wants to get a crack at the boss, UFC President Dana White, but perhaps it's a case of be careful what you do. Oh! oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Nice leg kick. Switching stances here. Straight right, he misses. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh, strong inside leg kick. Really, he might have hurt his knee there. Slice gets caught with that punch. How about that shin? Punch coming, it's blocked. Back to Orthodox. Oh. Oh. Hang on! Six shots! Oh! What a leg kick! Oh! Big left hook over the top. Three minutes to go. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, big shot! Oh. He's definitely hurt. He tagged him again. He's in big trouble. Oh, he might be out. Oh, oh. he hurt him. He clipped him. Hit him hook. hard with that hook. Nice leg oh. kick. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him. He tagged him. He hurt him. He's trying oh. to stay up. He tagged him. Throwing that jab, no good. Visibly limping here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Overhand to the head is true. Great technique there. Caught him with a punch. UFC President Dana White gets tagged again. Kimbo slices. Overhand punch to the head. Telegraphed, though, a little bit, Joe. It got blocked by the defense there. Oh, he got tagged again. He's so strong five yeah, minutes down. Man. Oh, saved by the bell there. The round is over. He got knocked down just before you heard the horn. And, of course, he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Okay? All right, all right. Breathe. We've been here before. It's okay. We just got... 
Brittany Palmer with us tonight. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything... Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Hurt him with the right hand. Right with fight ending intentions. Nice leg kick. Oh! What a leg kick. Looking to land the leg kick here. Joe misses, though. Leg kick. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Slice gets caught with that punch. Trying to double up on that jab. Goes upstairs for an elbow. on that offering. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find oh, his range. Oh, he's hurt again! Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh, very nice. Oh, he's getting hit! He threw an incredibly large volume of strikes, but this...